everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. I'm going to do a Dutch pour on this 18 by 24 inch canvas using these beautiful spring colors. So I wanted to go through them real quick because I've mixed a lot of them. Um, this one right here, as you can see, it is this aqua, uh, bright aqua green, but I put just a couple of drops of the phthalo green just to make it a little darker. This is the Pebe Pebeo Iridescent, uh, is it green, yellow? Yeah, green, yellow. And again, I put a little bit, just a hint of the phthalo green in this. This one right here is Permanent Red Violet. And I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. See how it's lighter? So I added some white to it. This one is Permanent Red Purple. And I added, I wanted it to be a little darker, so I added just a little bit of the permanent red violet. And then I have the iridescent green blue right here. So I just kind of wanted to go through it real quick. So the, this one I have white in. Um, I'm sorry, this one I have white in, but I didn't, I, my white's huge. So <laughs> that's why it's not on the canvas. But I just wanted to go through them real quick because most of them are um, a little bit different than what comes straight out of the bottle. I do that a lot. And the reason I've mixed so many colors instead of just going straight out of the tube is I went on Pinterest, saw this beautiful color palette, and went, oh, I'm going to do that. Of course, none of my colors look like theirs, so I had to make my own. Don't be afraid to do that. Okay, I'm going to use white as my base. So I'm going to go ahead and flood my canvas with white. This is not orange juice. <laughs> um, it's just easier to keep some made up and then... If you want another color, then, you know, besides white, then you can make um, a little bitty slurry and then add it to your white. Very easy. Very easy. All right. That should be plenty of paint. You know, I don't always put too much paint to begin with, but, you know, it's just one of my downfalls. I'm not real good at at spatial, I guess, the spatial awareness on the canvas. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. I wanted to stop real quick. The other day, I gave a tip on how I blow around the sides, and several people commented on how helpful it was. So I wanted to show it again in case you didn't see that video. I push my paint all the way to the end, and then instead of going straight over the edges like this, I go kind of at an angle, and it kind of pushes the paint. And it seems to me that it gives more coverage. And it works on the, the uh, deeper edge canvases as well. Now, it's not foolproof, and it doesn't work 100% every time. But it just seems to me it does give a little bit more coverage. So. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays way back a year ago. Okay, now I'm going to pop the air bubbles. I made sure my sides were covered well. Covered my corners. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to matter how I blow it out. I can't seem to get the corners covered ever. Okay, I'm going to start with the aqua green. We're going to come from here. there. Oops. Drip. And then this way. There we go. I think that'll work. Okay. This is my iridescent green yellow. Like I said, I did put a little bit of um, phthalo green. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of green right there. Uh, you know, that's okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this because, whoo, wow. I have to be careful how I blow that out. <laughs> All right. Permanent red violet. Kept having to pause uh, my video because I've got these people out 
front and it looks like they're tree trimmers of some sort. And I don't know if y'all know it, but a couple of weeks, I live in Little Rock, Arkansas, and a couple of, um, it's been a month now, I guess, we had massive tornadoes come through our city and completely change the landscape of our city. It's, it was massive. It, it hit really hard, went through several neighborhoods and completely destroyed them right in the middle of town. I mean, it, it's horrible. Um, my sister's house, my stepsister's house got destroyed. Took the roof off, totally flattened it. So sad. So we've had tree trimmers and all kinds of things everywhere <clears throat> for weeks, which, you know, that's the way it goes. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's been a eye opener. You don't ever think you're gonna get hit, especially when you live, you know, in a pretty hilly area. So okay, there are my beautiful colors. Gonna use my small hair dryer. Blow this out. I'm gonna start right here. Those are pretty spring colors, aren't they? Okay, that is really pretty. So I did get a lot of green, but it's not like in a bunch, which is what I was worried about. And there's a bunch of color hiding under there. Let's see if I can get some of that to come up. There we go. Could see it, but it wasn't coming through. But I think it's really, really pretty. I like it. And I, I was wondering if some of the blue and the pink were gonna mix to make purple, and it did. So, it's pretty. I like it. I like it. I don't think there's anything I want to do. I like the way it's blown out. I love the colors. It's going to have a lot of shimmer, so I'm just going to bring you down and show you the wet results. Okay, here are the wet results. I think it turned out really pretty. Gorgeous colors. Yeah, and you can see the shimmer. Yeah, I like it. It's very springy. And the green, I, it, it's very dominant in the middle, but that's okay. It, it's not too much. I think it's pretty. Here's where I had a torch, and they're continuing to grow, so that's good. Yeah, I like the colors. I do, I do. And there's, oh, those are pretty. And there's hints of purple in here. I like it. I think it's a pretty blowout. Yeah. Okay, I will turn my lights out so you can see the shimmer. All right, my lights are out, and you can definitely see the shimmer. Got that iridescent green-yellow, and also the um, iridescent blue-green. Oops, sorry, I got too close. See it through there? Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Yeah. Even on the end, see? It's gonna, it's gonna shimmer. That's really pretty with the blue and the green. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the whole piece. You can see the whole thing's gonna shimmer. 
All right, I will show you the dried results. All right, here are the dried results. I think it turned out really, really pretty. You can see the shine. There's something about this piece. It's soft and bright and bold at the same time. And I, don't, I, know, that's, I know that's not exactly a thing, but it just, to me, there's a real softness about it in person. Now, I may not be able to be captured on camera, but look at the iridescent blue-green and the iridescent green-yellow. So pretty. I was really worried about this middle part, but I think it is a fabulous focal point to this Dutch bore. I really like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. It is absolutely free. And until next time, you have a great day. Bye.